If I told you that you can build any of your million dollar app ideas into reality without writing a single line of code, would you believe me? Well, most people would be highly skeptical. To be able to build a functional, profitable app, you need to spend three years learning how to code, or you need to hire expensive developers, or your best friend who is the professional developer needs to jump on board into your idea, right? Well, not exactly. Because the, the technology that we have today, known as no code, anyone can become a tech entrepreneur and build their ideas into reality without writing a single line of code. So if you want to be a tech entrepreneur, we're literally living in the best times ever. And to prove that to you and show you how it can be done, I got a very special guest for us today. His name is Alem. Alem built his first app that code when he was only 14. Since then, he has gone on to build dozens of other apps and got the opportunity to work as a lead developer at Pricepix, which is currently one of the biggest biggest apps on the market with millions of downloads and a valuation of probably over a billion dollars. So in this video, Alem will be sharing why he quit working there to teach people how to no code instead, the secrets he learned building multi-million dollar apps and exactly how you can start turning your idea into reality without code today. So let's get into it. My name is Aleem based in the United States. I've been writing code by hand for the last 10 years. I built dozens of apps. Back in 2020, I got an opportunity to build a sports betting fantasy sports app. This was, you know, 2020 pre no code, low code hype. No code tools hadn't been, you know, fully matured yet to the point where you could build almost anything. I spent three years at Prize Picks. Uh, which is now the number one daily fantasy sports app in the country. Uh, when I joined, I was the lead mobile engineer and my job was literally to build the mobile app that we would go off to scale to uh, 2 million users to. Uh, you know, we, we were doing thousands of downloads a day, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars of volume every day using the app that I built. So I was keeping track of all the analytics, you know, the performance of the app, you know, the revenue tracking, the user acquisition, the ad engineering, making sure that people could download the app and we were converting them into customers at a good rate. So I literally was owning the end-to-end -end mobile app operation. And that's where my startup skills really come into play here is like, I'm not just an ordinary developer. I've always been one who actually builds software that makes money. That used to be my old motto was I build shit that makes money. Um, my first startup season share was a sports ticketing platform that I built while I was in college. We raised a million and a half dollars from venture capital. And then we actually went off to, to grow that from zero to $10 million in revenue. That was all software that I laid the groundwork for. And that business is still operational doing millions of dollars a year as well. So as we could see, Alem is as legit as a developer as it can get. He's helped develop multiple highly successful apps from the ground up, but as the time grew, he started to resent code and he found a much more efficient way to go about all of this. A new technological breakthrough that made building apps 10 times faster and easier. Over the last 10 years, I built dozens of apps, wrote every single line of code by hand. And that honestly caused me a ton of problems like stress related, mental health related, just absolutely drove me crazy. Every single piece of the screen, you had to literally write one, two or three lines of code for all the way from like how a button looked to the color of the button, the border radius, the text size, each and every little thing had to be coded and it was absolutely a nightmare because our product team would come back to me and be like hey Liam I need this button color change it's like one shade of purple off and I would literally have to like go back into the code type away fix things make sure nothing else didn't break open a pull request in github have my QA team review the pull request just for one little button it, it used to take an entire day working in a hyper growth startup just to make one small feature change and so I love building things but I hated writing code um and then since 2022 I've been completely you know immersed in the no code movement and since 2022 I've assembled a and pick set of no code tools that I know can absolutely scale to millions of users because they're not just your ordinary no code tools. These are tools that actually write code for you under the hood. And so for someone like me, who's a professional app startup entrepreneur, I wanted to make sure I have full control over the app. And so the no code stack that we teach at Ambitious Lab, we actually call it the Ambitious OS, which is our set of low code technologies that we know will scale to millions of users. Uh, that's what I'm focused on right now, building the largest academy in the world for. So we've trained thousands of entrepreneurs on the Ambitious OS uh, tech stack, and we've helped dozens of students, hundreds of students launch their app ideas using this stack. Your experience and your entire team has a lot of experience building. So having so much experience building apps without code, like doing it the traditional way, why did you guys decide to go the, the no code route? Why did you think that's the best thing to teach the modern founders? Because right now we're seeing that 
technology is moving exponentially. These no-code, low-code tools are getting more sophisticated by the week. Like literally every week, these low-code tools are launching features that make it even easier to build apps. These AI models are getting even more powerful. NVIDIA is shipping more chips than they've ever shipped before. They're launching their new set of chips soon. AI is moving extremely, extremely fast. And even Jensen Wong, the CEO of NVIDIA recently said like, you just need to have domain expertise, domain knowledge, but you don't need to program anymore. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program and that the programming language is human. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. This is the miracle of artificial intelligence. For the very first time, we have closed the gap. The technology divide has been completely closed. Now all humans are programmers. We can leverage ChatGPT to handle the gritty work for us. Our job is to identify problems, solve those problems you know, using our domain knowledge. And now technology is easier than ever to build. Almost anybody can build a clone of Airbnb, of Uber, Facebook, utility apps, SaaS apps, AI apps. It's so easy to build these. All you have to do is point, click, drag and drop. Now is the time to learn low code, no code. It's not gonna be long before it's a degree in schools, before it's a certificate program in schools absolutely hey how can you become a problem solver and take the technology for granted because the technology exists to build pretty much anything but even though a lot of developers like alim are starting to jump onto the no-code bandwagon there's still a lot of doubters i will constantly get comments on my channel telling me that no good tools are a joke that they're not scalable they're just glorified powerpoints they're not secure and that they don't have legit functionality well let's see what an actual veteran developer says about this so number one it's absolutely scalable especially the ambitious os stack because as you are working with the ambitious lab stack you're actually becoming a developer because the code is being written for you so flutter as a front end is extremely scalable and you can pretty much implement any functionality you can import any flutter package from the pub.dev repository which is essentially like a global repository of millions of packages that you could you know, import into your project and implement anything. The backend that we choose is powered by Google Firebase, which is a huge backend as a service that's built on top of the Google Cloud Platform. Google Cloud Platform powers the biggest apps in the world. We used it at Price Picks. It's used at almost, I would say 50% of early stage startups and growth stage companies are likely building apps on top of the Google Cloud Platform. It's very, very cheap. You can scale to millions of users and you're only gonna pay a couple hundred bucks a month. And some people may think, oh, a couple hundred dollars, like that's a lot of money. But when you're pushing a million users, that's a really good problem to have. And honestly, like try opening a candy store with a million users coming through your shop. Not gonna happen for $200 a month, right? You're gonna need a huge warehouse to do that. A lot of times like entrepreneurs are thinking about the wrong things. They're already thinking about how they're gonna get a million users before they have their first dozen users. So really your job as an entrepreneur should be about getting your hands dirty, solving that problem, thinking about tech stack later, but trusting Ambitious Labs OS as like the tech stack that we know can scale for sure now okay we know that no code is powerful we know that we can use it to build out our ideas into legit business solutions so let's finally spill the secrets on how alim was able to build such successful apps in the past so that you can apply that knowledge to your own startup launching an app in the store or even just putting a piece of software out there for the rest of the world to use will absolutely change your life how many people do you know have an app in the store how many people do you know who even have their own website right that sets you literally in the top 1% of the internet. Too many people don't put their work out there. That's the biggest thing is like they're already scared of failing, so they never start. Putting an app out there will rid you of your fears of launching. You just need to learn how to put something imperfect into the world and just let it sit and be okay with other people giving you feedback. If you master that skill and you're open to it, you'll never fail in life. So the first version of Price Fix, which is now hundreds of millions of dollars, if not a billion dollar app, the first version of Price Fix was a Google form. And it was literally my founder, you know, his name's Adam, literally ran around all of Atlanta with a Google form and was taking entries on a Venmo or like a cash app. That was the first version of what today I think is a billion dollar company. He wasn't afraid. He knew people would laugh at him. He knew that people would be like, why, why, why are you running around with a Google form? But at the end of the day, he was proving that there was a market need for a specific game format that didn't exist yet. This concept of single player fantasy props over under didn't exist in the market. And he knew he didn't need to go hire a $200,000 developer, go raise venture capital. He was like, hey, I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is, literally, and go run around with the Google form, right? And then test to see the market would wanna play that game format. That's the biggest thing. Another thing is team building. Too many times entrepreneurs, like they get too excited over solopreneurship and like living alone and like just wanting to be alone. I don't get why, but team building is the number one skill that I think will set you apart and expedite you to success. And at Price Picks, we built some really awesome teams across multiple departments. We learned how to trust each other, how to squad up. And inside of Ambitious Labs, we have this whole squad functionality that's built into our learning platform where we can actually pair you up with like other like-minded builders and you guys can squad up and build together. That's something that's really, really important 
important is being able to trust one another and execute a shared mission in, in a team. Both entrepreneurs who we've had go through our programs and launch their apps and raise six figures of venture capital. The two things that they have in common is they, they were ready to go all in, you know, and they believed in themselves to build the product themselves, take it to market themselves, hustle, you know, we call it scratch and claw your first users. And then from there, the flywheel effect just picks up. But for those people who aren't focused, they have too much going on, they're trying to start six different businesses, this is just one of them, you know, those people don't succeed. You have to be focused on one thing and you have to be ready to take the leap and bet on yourself. Take three months of your life, say this quarter, Q2 or Q3, I'm gonna launch an app idea. It takes three months to do something really well. You know, it takes 21 days just to acquire a new habit. It's gonna take you, I would say, three months to really launch something. If you try to chase five rabbits, you're not gonna catch any. Commit three months to doing something that is gonna change your life forever. And that is launching an app and putting it out into the world. Your life will absolutely change um, after you do that. But I think focus is the biggest thing. Now, okay, we know what it takes to be a successful app entrepreneur. So what exactly do we do next? Well, before you ever start building your app, we need to validate our idea to see if it's worth pursuing and to get some customer insight. We can do that by building an MVP. MVP simply stands for minimum viable product. We basically create something to deliver the value that our app will deliver to our customers in the most minimalistic way possible. For example, if you're building an app to connect car detailers to people who need their car detailed at home, your MVP would literally be a form for the customers to fill in their information, to share their location and make the payment. You would then manually phone the detailers to provide them the, the info and go on from there. Or it could literally just be a web page with the button to order the service, but it doesn't work. The button simply tracks how many times people have clicked on it. So you can launch ads to it and see if there's any demand in the first place. This methodology has been used in Silicon Valley for decades. And a lot of people overcomplicate this. They spend weeks or even months building something that without ever talking to the customers or knowing what they don't want in the first place or seeing if there's even a market for it. So let's see how long it takes Alim to build an MVP. If somebody who is already like a successful business person, they have a lot of experience in their industry and let's say they kidnapped you and they locked you in a room with them. You have no way out. You just have internet and I want you to teach them how to build their first MVP. How long would it take you to get out of that room? Honestly, five minutes because an MVP doesn't take longer than a few minutes to think about. So I'm speaking fast because I feel like I'm in this room, but like you identify who your target customer is. You identify what the problem is that they're solving. And then like the, the worst way you could solve the problem. And I, the worst way, in my opinion, is something called the concierge MVP, where you literally solve that problem by hand. If somebody says, yo, I'm a elderly citizen. I need an app to help me find caregivers in my area and it was a specific area like say Orange County California I literally would find my customer and say hey Auntie Sally you need a caregiver I got you I would be calling up every caregiver in the phone book and just getting Auntie Sally connected with the caregiver and just proving that she needed a way to easily connect with that person that's what I would do in five minutes that's an MVP it has nothing to do with an app it just proves that there's a market need an app comes after that and that's actually the first phase in our program because way too many times entrepreneurs they already want to solve this grand problem but they don't even know the problem actually exists so once you've proven that your idea is worth building next up comes the actual building process normally building an app with code would take six to 12 months, if not longer. I know people who spend two to three years working at the development agency before they could even launch a basic version of their app. I repeat, two to three years, it's crazy. But the superpower of no code is that everything can be done a lot faster, meaning that your time to market is absolutely rapid. And as we know in business, time is money. It shouldn't take you more than three weeks to clearly hypothesize your problem and the, and the solution that you want to solve it with. A couple days to fix, fix up your designs, plan a user journey and a user flow diagram to get your user to that aha moment. We think building the app is actually 30% of it. Clearly hypothesizing, planning a minimum viable feature set is 70% of the work and you should be able to bring something to life within two weeks for sure after that. Now, what do you do if you want to learn directly from Alem and work with this team? Well, the programs that we offer at Ambitious Labs come in two flavors. They're both the same exact dreams into apps methodology. One of them is called the Academy, which is for the early stage builder. It's a do-it-yourself program that comes with full access to our platform, our coursework, our mini tools, our private discord. You know, we have hundreds of dollars in free Flutterflow, Firebase, BuildShip, um, and it's a do-it-yourself program that comes with everything that you would need 
to launch your app startup. And this is good for people who are just getting their feet wet. Um, they want to launch something and they you know, can't really stay focused on something. So we give you all the tools, the accountability, um, everything in an AI powered fashion. We're not just a course, we're an AI powered virtual academy. And I believe that this is the future of learning. That's if you're an early stage builder, but if you're a serious startup founder, you have one idea that keeps you up at night, you can't stop thinking about this idea, you want to raise money, you want to make this full time, you want to go all in on one idea, the program for you is called the Dreams into Apps Accelerator, which is the same Dreams into Apps methodology, but it comes with one-on-one -on -one coaching from me and my expert coaching team, uh, accountability calls every week. You get your own dedicated technical coach who literally is right by your side for three months, helping you launch your MVP. You get your own product strategy professional who's literally gonna help you plan your app, separate your wants from your needs, commit to your needs, and then they're gonna go out and design your app or build you a template for you. So it's a done with you program where over three months, 12 weeks, you're gonna go from idea to validating your idea, planning it, designing, building, and launching your app um, all within 12 weeks. And that's our flagship program that we're seeing the most success with. Um, so if you're interested in joining either one of those programs, uh, feel free to check out the Ambitious Labs website. We have a ton of information there. And one of our um, discovery team members could be happy to tell you which program is right for you. And click the video on the screen now to learn about the best no-code mobile app builders. I'll see you there.